Well, hello, stranger. Big pile up on the mass bike. Oh, Lord. Anybody hurt? Grace of God, Joe. Mm. Oh, say hello to Ketchup. Ketchup, this is Hogan. Tim Hogan. Oscar Burton. So you're the new one. This is funny. I had you pegged for a Nick or a Jake. Joe's got a thing for names. Almost never wrong. No. How much do I owe you? Well, you haven't even started, huh? I got a bus to catch. What time's the next one? 8.30. Tonight? Tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks. See you. I can wrap it up. No, no, I'm fine. Thanks. Hey, I'm Sarah. Tim Hogan, just the man I'd like to see. You lose another Santa? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Turns out I'm not leaving after all, Sheriff. I thought you were leaving. Well, it's just a misunderstanding. Uh, Sarah and I uh, had a contract issue, but we've resolved it, right? And uh, it turns out she needs a Santa as much as I need a job. Maybe more. Let's get to work. She's the boss. <laughs> Keep your head down, Sheriff. You ever get a feeling about a guy? Sometimes. You know, I tell her, I tell her not to put him up at the farm with a teenage daughter and no man around. Oh, I bet she loves that. Telling Sarah Gibson what to do. Smart move, Dougie. Come on, Joe. He could be anybody. Serial killer, for God's sake. <laughs> a serial killer in a Santa suit. You're reading too much Stephen King, Doug. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've got this feeling. Well, I don't blame you. He's cute. Nice. Well, he is. Now that you have got any reason to be jealous. Would it be asking too much, Tim, to run a check? If that's all the new business, then, well, that concludes our meeting this evening. I'd like to thank you all for coming. Uh, new, new ideas, new business. That's what this town needs. And I think I know just the guy who might be able to help us with that. Um, Oscar. Hi, folks. Um, uh, look, uh, well, you know, everybody in town had it uh, pretty good for a while, and then the big stores came and, and took it all away from you. Yep. And from where I sit, it doesn't look like it's going to get any better, so I was thinking maybe it's time that you took some of that back. <laughs> Mr. Burton, you're new here, and, uh, well, I think we like things just the way they are. Speak for yourself, Douglas. <laughs> Do you expect us to compete with them all? Oh, why not? Unless you're afraid of losing their advertising. <laughs> what can we do? Where do we start? Well, you, um, you remember that famous bank robber? When they said to him, why do you rob banks? He said, because that's where the money is. <laughs> Thanks for helping with that donation. Hey, yeah, I think the Policeman's Benevolent Association, right, Hogan? They don't spend it all in one place. It's already earning interest. Smart man. Hey, Joe, what do I owe you for the coffee? Hey, your money's no good here, Santa. <laughs> okay, bring that niece around to see me, huh? Doug? He's up to something. You know, I ran that check on him, Doug. No arrests, not even a parking ticket. Oscar Burton is as clean as they come. Yeah. Well, maybe you're looking in the wrong place. Did you catch her with any of the merchandise? Oscar, Oscar, please. Was she holding or wasn't she? Well, no, but she was with the others. And... Mr. Burton, this is a family matter, please. Did you take anything? <laughs> Thanks for asking. No one else even Tell the truth. Did you take anything? No, nothing. I'm sorry, that's not going to be good enough. Now, wait a minute. You can bust her for being in the wrong place at the wrong time, but she's a minor. If she wasn't holding anything, you'll never make a Class C misdemeanor stick. Your father was a good friend of mine. And your mom's good people. So I'm gonna let her deal with you this time. We understand each other here, Noel? Mm -hmm. Well, good night, Sarah. Thank you. Oscar. Okay. So, you 
still think I'm blowing smoke? There's a lick on a peppermint stick. He'll come a flying from a higher place and fill the stockings by the Merry fireplace. Christmas. So you, how you let's prove.